Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to the stream. Everybody, welcome back to the stream. Let's go. Light it up, light it up, light it up, light it up. Welcome everybody, you are tuned in to Saturday mm, Slugfest, coming live from Orlando, Florida, home of the magic baby, and we're trying to make some magic here tonight on this incredible six match card, coming live and direct tonight, we're kicking things off in a major way. Putting one third of Notorious Uprising, taking on one third of the Imperial Dragons. It's gonna be Big Mo, Morris Jones, taking on Iro Ishioka. Woof, that's a mouthful. The first time one on one matchup. You've already seen Bishop Black and Tatsumuda bump heads, bump meat. Bump fist, bump whatever. A whole lot of bumping going on here in Florida tonight. And I'm, we are ready for a fight here on Saturday. Suck fest. These two factions are trying to assert their dominance as they've been pitting member versus member week after week. And we've got these two up on deck. Here in the opening contest, which will be determined under pure rules. If you're not familiar, pure rules means all the action stays contained inside that squared circle. There must be a winner. No shenanigans. Fingers crossed. Hope for the best. So we're going to leave it up. Destiny. Let's get it. Black leading his soldiers into war as they are here to support the one and only Big Mo Morris Jones on your right, his brother Marquise Morris on the left, and Black leading the charge as per usual. As Big Mo has a giant one on one pure rules match with one third of the Imperial Dragons here tonight. Live from Orlando, Florida, you are tuned in to Saturday Slugfest. This is Worldwide Wrestling Alliance. My name is Maze. Welcome to Twitch, bitch. always seeks out the highest level of competition, and I think he'll get it tonight. that asshole Juntao as he's ready to send his soldier into battle here tonight the one and only Iro Ishioka taking on Big Mo Morris Jones from the Tory Sun Rising we have yet to see Juntao clash with the remaining member we'll definitely get that match up next Saturday and we'll see how he fares against Marcus Mack But here in Orlando tonight, it's all about Eero and Big Mo, one-on-one. -on -one. Jones, Ishioka, P. 
pure rules apply. Let's and get it. Looking at one of the most unshakable superstars on Hero the roster. coming out swinging. Absolutely Big Mo is certain a himself. Of resilience. He's been through ups and downs, but has never given up the Taking fight. him up Bitter. and First down Harris with the rib break. Mo match. showing off that strength super fight, early. And he's coming out this match attitude. aggressive as he can. Mo was setting up shot, but changed his mind. And he manages to maintain the offensive advantage. Big elbow drop. That is a nasty individual in that ring. There's Big Mo stomping on the hand and fingers of Ishioka. What a shot you know, to the gut. Pushed around. Yeah, but he's, and he's taking Eero for a ride. Big fall away slam. Away slam. Chucked him halfway across the ring. The power is on display tonight, people. Oh, kick right to the gut. Attack to the midsection. As he takes him down with the that kick. It's Mo. Uh, Looking for a ring to Saturn. Uh, oh my god. He's got that locked in super tight. It's Yoga needs to get his foot on the ropes oh, to it. counter it. Oh, and he whoa, manages whoa. to. Oh, Shift the momentum, and now Ishioka's is coming out with that vicious strike combo, nailing him with a kick to the chin. Shots to the kidneys, doubling down on the attack. Zero is looking to get back on the advantage. Off the top, what a knee to the chest! Just like that, things are in Eero's favor he here in Orlando. He's not going to let anything stop him. He's able to kick. Oh, Big Bo went for it all in that haymaker, but he missed. Eero oh, quick as a cat and nails that face crusher. Looking to hook that leg, goes for the cover. One, two. Big Bo getting the shoulder up. Big Bo's got to watch out for Eero because he's got that patented dragon sleeper. And he's got that triangle choke locked in that with the arm combo. Mo able to counter out with a neck break. Oh, Big Mo thinks he's got this in the bag. He's not wasting any time as he gets him away from those ropes, making the cover himself. Stopping the ref's count at two. He's not still got life Barely a two count. Oh my god! One hit a quitter to the chin. And now Big Mo going for the win. Big elbow. Makes the cover. Is it enough? One. Two. Oh. But my God, if you go home or you check out the vibe, Big Mo cleaned his lights out with that straight right punch. And a disoriented hero is back on the advantage, nearly kick after kick. This is incredible. Huge knee slam. And Ishioka. Got a little Hell's Gate locked in, if you will. That deep rooted triangle choke. Big Mo's got nowhere to go. He's got to use his power. And he does as he slowly gets to his feet, set him up for a big power bomb. Just enough to break, hold, break free of that hold. And both men are on their feet. It's Eero striking first. As he rolls through right to a knee bar. The knee bar's locked in. He got it locked in. He that mixed martial arts again. background is paying off here tonight. Boot oh to my god. That size 15 boot to the face just busted he's Eero open the hard him. way. First but he's back on the top rope with a knee. He's going for the he used that that blood as aggression to level out Big Mo. And Mo just got the shoulder up. This is I understand the sentiment, this is crazy. but now is not the time to bask in disbelief. That kick to the face made something Eero snap. And Big Mo is getting all he can handle right now here in Florida. Uh -oh. As he gets sent off the ropes. Oh my God, Rainbow Cutter! Oh, did that just happen? That might be it. Eero with the cover. Two. No. I it was finished wow. For sure. I do Big Mo got the shoulder up. Here we go. Ishioka bring him to his this. feet. He slips behind him, legs trip, trips him up at he's the leg. Dominating at this point. And now he's going for it, folks. Oh, but he's going for that dragon sleeper. Big Mo with the counter kicks out the back of his knee. And he's got him up. He's ready to rock the block. 
as he rolls through. He's not done. He's doubling down. Block Robert down. Will that be it? One. Two. Wow. What strength. Not Hero getting the shoulder up. The, the choice uprising can't believe it, but Bishop Black cheering on his brother regardless. As Bo is looking to put this one away. Are we gonna see it? Work in that hold now. Another set of rings of Saturn being applied with extreme pressure. Ero almost lifeless in this ring needs to shift his weight. And Big Mo just lets him go. Walking backbreaker. And he's stretching him. Pendulum backbreaker stretch. Look at Big Mo go. Oh my god, not again. Rock the block. Hey, hey, oh and he boy. rolls through. Not done yet. Big Mo showing out. Way. Block rock. Just like he is busy. One. Two. two three. Oh, wow. Big Mo with the M. Fatic. Dumb. Hero Slugfest. A humongous win, no pun intended, for Big Mo Morris Jones here on Slugfest. Putting down Iro Ishioka of the Imperial Dragons the hard way. Up next, it's going to be a Sako Torio star cannon taking on Jackie Rivera in one-on-one -on -one fashion. She will be accompanied by Ray Koga in the leader, the Chinese Nightmare Asia. Jackie Rivera having to go it alone tonight as her sisters are still healing up from that daunting elimination tag match. They exerted a lot of energy. They're still licking their chops and wounds after taking the L to the hooligans. Ultimately failing to capture that tag team championship opportunity. So it's Jackie Rivera all by her lonesome taking on a Sako Tori of Star Cannon here tonight on Saturday Slugfest. We wish her the best here tonight. Chinese Nightmare leading a, uh, Asako Tori here tonight into battle. Going one-on-one -on -one with Jackie Rivera for what I believe will be the very first time. You know, Asako doesn't dip her toes into singles action often. She's usually a tag team specialist along with her partner, Ray Koga. But tonight's a different kind of night. as She looks to take down the head Rivera in charge here on Slugfest. She certainly knows how to get a reaction, and she'll get an even bigger one when she wins this match. The head Rivera in charge. Big Sis Jackie is here.
You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. This former three-time, two-time, I believe, Women's Intercontinental Champion, Jackie Rivera, ready to do her thing against the Sako Tori here tonight. Oh, yeah, three-time. Three-time Intercontinental Champion. Correction. Ready to prove her weight in gold, so to speak. In this one-on-one -on -one contest, the best competitors around, ready to show her skills. Thirty minutes on okay, the clock, no countouts. Here we go, Jackie and the Sako. This Jackie, yeah, this try to take out some of her frustration on Tori here tonight. Sako having none of it. She locks Jackie up. Big butterfly back break. Here could do just that. But she'll be contending with a woman who's had a ground swell of support as a And it's Sako on the top. Who's going to use that outpouring to on the middle rope that is fight. ready to take a dive. Ooh, jumping up. The other, a part of that cross body didn't get all of it, but it was just enough to take Jackie off her feet. There's a kick. Tori so getting met with that elbow. And as Jackie hit the ropes, big elbow to the chin. And now she's climbing to the top. And now it's Rivera taking things to the top. Huge flying elbow, clearing three fourths of the ring in the process. That agility is something serious. Relentless. Enough already. Jackie is laying those certified uh, she's got an answer for that. weapons, those hands across the face of Tori. Sent into the corner. High risk area up there. Will there be a Sako on the top rope? Here comes Jackie, but no. Tori counters with the oh, kick. One third of Star Cannon. Answering Sweep back. Scoots about a leg. Big foot stop. Right on the chest oh, of the HRIC, so to speak. And here comes Tori. Bow and arrow backbreaker oh, stretch. Jackie needs to counter out oh, with that crossbody and does. Forcing her to break the hole. Both women on their feet. Here comes Tori. Looking for that Uranaki smile with the spin on it. And she's got her up. Oh my god, the disrespectful slap. And Tori is rocking Jackie here tonight. Nearly kidney shot after kidney shot. She tried to end it, but Jackie caught her with the counter. Big spine buster into a pin. The roll through was excellent. We only got a one count. Here comes Jackie. You're a Nagi. Can she dive that far? Going for that Rivera special, that hangover. No. It's Tori on her feet with the counter. Here comes Asako looking for the headlock driver. That might be it. Jackie seeing stars with the cover. One, two, three. And it's Asako Tori with the dub here on Saturday Slugfest. Let's take another look at these ladies going toe to toe. Nice little one on one match. Several exchanges, but ultimately in the end, it was Asako getting the win with that headlock driver. Here is your winner, the superstar. And she walks away with a big win. As Asako celebrates so with her out the winner. sister and leader, Star Cannon is standing tall here tonight in Orlando. You love to see it. Up next, we got more women's action as Miss International Kathy Hollis takes on the warrior of the land, Kiori Toda, in an extreme rules contest. Universe booked this one. And I said, hey. I'm with it. Let's see what happens. Kathy Hollis, Kiori Toto, one-on-one. 
extreme rules say less like the kids say both of these women have been jockeying for a position for a title shot of any type when it comes to these two so I'm ready for this match right here on Slugfest Internationally known and locally respected, Kathy Hollis is in the building. This would be a battle of flight, a battle of the sky, so to speak, in this Extreme Rules contest against the warrior of the land, Kiori Toda. Both of these women have their work cut out for each other in this one, folks. It's going to be hard to pick a winner in this. incredible journey for this woman, but she knows a win tonight will take her even further. Here we go, here we go. of the land, Kiori Toda, making her way to the ring time. here on Slugfest, ready to go to war with Kathy Hollis here tonight. Either one of these women need a win to build that momentum needed to put themselves in line for an eventual championship match. As the roster is getting more competitive and deep as we speak, several new signees have been latched on. So when we transition over to 2K23, we're breaking the fourth wall. I don't care. But I've seen the field of competition, and a lot of people are going to have to step up their game. Here we go. Extreme rules match time. No Total coming out with the big kick. No Setting things goes. off with that springboard Hashtag cross body. Cat makes her way back to her feet. And this back big spine buster. A little more nervous because these two of the pulling no punches early here tonight. As Kathy's ready to take flight top. off the top. Big flying kick to the chest. Evading but it's Tori trying to head to back, but she gets caught with the takedown. And that's Kathy setting up standing oh, moves saw perfect form by the match. way. What does a superstar have to do to Kathy adapt trying to, to show a out. Like Kathy this. has had a tough exactly time, what you, said, you know, Cole. stringing wins adapt. together here in to WWE. But we'd love to see her, you know, start anywhere. Who better to start with than the warrior of the land, Kiori Tota? As Tota sets up shop in the high rent district. Big tap hole splash. Oh my God. High rope moonsault connects. Kathy Hollis is in trouble, folks. As they get on their feet, it's Tota. Grabbing her by the neck. Kathy elbowing her way out. Turned that one around. Showing she's still got a lot of fight left. She nails that kick. It's Hollis. Drop kick and Tota to the floor. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Kathy. Goes, under the goes outside just to send her back in. All right, she's back in, ready That's to go. the decision I would have made personally, but hey, you do what you do when you got to do it. As she's back up top and gets back down. A lot of indecisiveness going on, and as you can see, this is what causes her not to be able to get those wins that she needs. A lot of indecision. But she finally lands on a moonsault. Ooh, low kick sets her up. Back foot with the athleticism of a German. Here's the cover. Quick cover by Kathy. One, two. Sends off the three count. 
Kiori getting that shoulder up. Kathy's starting to get beside herself. It's Tony. Still down. It's Hollis on the top. Big elbow drop. No crashes and burns. And here comes Kiori. But gets caught with a kick. Kathy showing off those cat like reflexes. And she has her by the neck, face first into the turnbuckle. Saw that one coming. Kiori elbows her way out. But Kathy locks her up and gets caught with a kick. Toda to the outside. And now she's looking to get extreme, folks. What she got in mind? She's got a ladder. Okay. She puts that ladder in the ring. The fight gets brought to her on the outside. Big upper cut palm strike to the chin. Leveling Kathy Hollis, and there's a knee to the elbow. What a kick to the ribs. The disrespect is high tonight. Hence is a takedown. And Tota looks to get back in the ring. She's got that ladder. I don't know what she's got on her mind, but she's setting it up in the middle of the ring. There's nothing to grab. Except, uh, you know, the proverbial opportunity. And that being the win. Big knee, big leg snap. Orlando cheering on Kiori as she continues this wave of offense. Leveling Kathy with that stop. Another strike to the elbow. Kiori. Sends Kathy into the and stairs. She's getting back into the ring. She slips out. She keeps going in and out of this ring as if there's a count to break, but there's not. It's extreme rules. Oh, and she turns it around. And here comes Hollis from. trying to answer back. Floats under and catches scouted. it with the leg sweep. Now looking for something. Now Kathy looking for a weapon with. of her own. She's got the bat. Oh my god. Ooh, danger. That's two shots. Kiori, three shots. We'll see how she fares for the rest of that match, but she took some vicious hits to the knee. And here comes Kiori. Back in the ring, grabbing that ladder. Kathy cutting her off. Tiger suplex. And Kathy's up top looking for that incredible shooting star press. Oh my god, will it be enough? Goes for the cover. One, two, three. Wow. This international might have had a sleeper of a match, but came out with the resounding awesome dub. Match, huh? What in the hell? Incredible matchup, eh? Yo, oh, hey. it's the Chinese Can nightmare Asia. What is going on? Company. Now she wants a fight. Well, She's sure calling out Kathy yeah, Hollis. This is a good idea at all. Interesting. I, I was not expecting that. She even donned the blue hair for this one. Switching out those wigs. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how this develops over the next few weeks. But up next is Ricky Rush taking on the hardcore icon Grave Digger in a no holds barred match. This was also thrown together by Universe, so we shall see what happens. Mr. Fitness. Taking on the hardcore icon, no holds barred. Usually favors Gravedigger in a big way, but we'll see how Ricky fares here tonight just momentarily here on Slugfest. Uh, he's ready for hey, this yo. matchup here. All roads have led to this point. What is happening he here? Cannot wait to get his hands on his opponent. Gravedigger's out here. He's about to go down. One on one, finally, we don't have to wait any longer. But he's like, no, nah, I'll stop. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's the what same son, tail. Reaper. Time to go. And no he's sending Gravedigger to the ring. Bring this match is going to happen right now, earlier than intended. One on one match with no rules, no and regulations. Ricky coming out strong with the backhand. Simply. Takes him down no, with that hip far. toss knee he combination. To the stipulation to a T, Cole. I expect plenty of brutality tonight. Yeah, I wonder why Gravedigger was reluctant to get in the ring with the with Ricky Rush of all people. The Reaper said, "You're not getting off easy tonight." And there's Ricky with the roll through knee bar, working on the leg of Gravedigger. 
gets the submission before things got more disastrous. Oh, what a kid shot out of nowhere. Looking for an There's the cover. Not even a one count. And Sticker gets the shoulder up. Forearm right to the jaw. And look at Ricky go. Uh-oh. Ricky looking to take down the former three-time champion here on Slugfest. And so far, he's doing a hell of a job. Handspring. This is the Pele. But the icon getting cocky. It is mission critical. Yo, <laughs> look at the moves on Ricky. What the hell? Before your opponent does. This is an environment where oh, he confused. The dance moves definitely confusing the icon, but it didn't work out. There's a snapmare driver. That's got to be one of the wildest moves and taunts I've ever seen. Oh my god. Grave was going for it all in that frog splash, but Ricky got the count. There's a roll through right to the of the fakes. Makes the cover. One, two. And Digger gets the shoulder up. Ricky can't believe it. I can't believe it. As he continues this assault, busting open the icon the hard way. Grave Digger seeing red. Head spring. Pele, Pele, but he misses. Miserably. But he stays on the advantage. Looking for a backslide. Driver. Ricky up top. Big Meteora. This is the stuff. Here comes Gray. Takes him down with the clothesline. The hardcore icon showing some life. Slamming him face first to that knee. And Diggers going for it. Swinging that arm into the mat. Trying to answer back as he looks for that six for feet suplex. deep power bump. Oh my God. Grave turns him over, it. makes the cover. Is it enough? One, two, oh, he no. He got Ricky there. Rush Could getting that shoulder up. Time. Grave is beside himself. Already dealing with the mental anguish of Reaper. He's got to find a way to put Ricky to bed in this one-on-one -on -one no holds bar contest. As he nails the snake eyes in the corner. This match grinded him down Arm first. And just a high what up, uh, John? Right yeah, it looks like he's Welcome to the channel if you've never been here. Big back cracker. Woof. Cover. Shoulders are down. This is Saturday Slugfest. My name's Maze. Welcome to the stream if you've never been here before. He's if you have been here before, welcome back. You can see as he rises. Oh my God, Rush. He's looking for it. Grave on his feet. He. He's mocking Grave Digger. Six feet deep pile driver. Oh my God. The 187. One, two. Who else close? This is uh, 22. We're going to switch over to 23, presumably after our next pay per view, Virtual Insanity. But it depends on the patch that 2K puts out because I need them to get Create Arena uh, fixed before I do anything. Big kidney shot. After kidney shot, and Grave is leveling Ricky Rush, and he's going up top. Uh, maybe we'll have to talk it out. Send me a whisper, cause we got we have a lot of people. And I still have a handful of people that have to be sent over to me from my uh, the creators that I go to. Most of the roster is uh, characters. Oh, hold up, Grave Digger, looking for it. Six feet deep power bomb number two. Is that enough? Oh, he's not done. He said, I'm going to be differently different. I'm going for it. But Ricky counters. And there's an uppercut to the back of the net. But yeah, send me a whisper. Oh, wait a minute. But Ricky going for the cover. One, two. And Grave got the shoulder up. That was a close one. Yeah, send me a whisper. Uh, we'll, 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 I'll give you some details about it. Oh my God, Ricky! Spit out Blue Thunder Power Bomb. One, two, throw! Snap! Grave got the shoulder up. Ricky can't just can't quite get the job done. As he gets yeeted into the mat, here comes Grave Digger. Big elbow. But yeah, yeah, my titles are already made on 23. Oh, Grave with a Dominator! Oh, face first. But it's Ricky answering back with the kick. And he's on his feet. Turns him inside out to a fallen DDT. Oh, he's going for it. He's trying to set him up for that nasty kick. But Grave counters out. Dragon Screw takedown. 
A grave ready to put this one away. Kick oh, to the gut. A third class. six feet deep power bomb. Oh, my gosh. Good Lord. That's got to be it. Here's the cover. The cover. The one. Two. Two. What in the hell? He so, got the shoulder question, up how much again. Is it how much is it worth this is insane. And Graves had it's enough. He's going to send this one to bed. Looking for that 187. Oh, my. Ricky counted out of the 187. Spins him out. Catches Grave Digger. And sends him into the corner. Right into the Here comes corner. Ricky Rush. Knee Big knee to the ribs. This could be his moment. A Ooh, kick. But Graves back on his feet. Showing why he is the hardcore icon, but oh no, Ricky. The incredible counters, and they're going strike for strike, tip for tat, doing it just like that. And here comes Grave Digger. Pow! What a suplex. Went for it all in that stop, but it's Ricky, another blue thunder powerbomb. This has got to be it. This is it. That might be it. They're right by the ropes, but he can't get the break. One, two, three. Wow. Ricky Rush picking up what many would consider an upset here on Saturday Slugfest. Sure he ate three of those power bombs. Eddie mocked him in the process, but it wasn't enough as Ricky withstood the storm and he is standing tall here on Saturday. Guys, it's rare we see such a closely contested match. This is a grueling match both physically and mentally, but to the victor goes the spoil. That was crazy. That was crazy even for me. Oh, snap. Up next, we're going to run it back in another no holds barred match. It's going to be Caleb versus Caleb. Shepard versus Rivera. Who is the dominant Caleb here in Worldwide Wrestling Alliance. Time will only tell as we're going to get this contest underway. No holds barred. Caleb and Caleb, the first one was a classic. Can the second one be just as good? Let's find out. Here we Yo! Go. The going to be a good one. Superstar ready for action. What is happening? Here comes his opponent. Oh, Rivera's time. rushing the ring. The and he's taking out down Caleb. Caleb. Now they're with the strikes. They go. have so this much respect to each other after their last start. match, but these two are going at it. Things have been getting crazy this week. Is at an all -time and now it's Shepard. Look for that roll through head no is taking him around the world up and no down. Is no object is off limits. This is gonna Middle rope moonsault yeah, right across the spot. And now he's yelling at Caleb, daring him to get up. As he nails him with elbow after oh, elbow, mocking him in the process, it. doing those push-ups right off of his back. Rivera's back on his feet, and he's got Caleb up and down with the Michinoku driver. Rivera nailed the moose all across the spine, paying Caleb a receipt. Here comes you know, Caleb ask, Corey, on the top an rope. Strategy is there in a notice Looking to put match. Caleb in his Honestly, place. It depends on the superstar. Up, high. Up and down. This is the crossbody. Overshot it by a country mile. And here comes Shepard. Full Nelson. Full Nelson. Face Up buster. Down. Like Saxtonation, but better. Big moonsaw. The air up there is real. Shepard. Ready to take flight off the top. Big neck breaker. Ooh, he, he went for it all on that one. He love to see it. Caleb grabbing Caleb. But this time it's Rivera trying to get the advantage. Elbow on his way out. Locks up Shepard. Big jaw breaker. Slams his arm into the mat. Rivera misses the moonsault. Oh my God! Look at Caleb go with the power bomb, elbow oh, drop combination. The cover shoulders. Down. If that's enough, I would be thoroughly surprised as he hooks the leg. One, two, no. Rivera He's got that shoulder play, up. He's gonna have to do a lot longer. more, a lot more, to put this one away. If he was ready to set up shop on the top rope, changes his mind. Oh my God! 
the rejection feint super kick finds its mark. Here comes Shepard. Okay, bet. Oh, double axe handle. And Kale's not done. He's calling for Rivera to give him his feet. He's got to be going for that incredible flying kick finishing move. The Off the top. Ow! He sidesteps. Kale locks him up. Up. Oh, his shoulders. Here. Right into the turnbuckle pad. Snake eyes. What a, what a moonsault. It's getting good. Hooks the leg. One. Two. And Rivera gets the shoulder up. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it Look now. Caleb go. Fight is Clapping it up. up. Big boot well played, to, the to the gut. Another no one. Oh, and he yeah. ends it with a strong oh, clothesline. He just keeps dealing out punishment with every move. Yeah, Caleb he is being giving Caleb the approach. blues with that strike combination, but Rivera oh, answers back with the suplex. Oh, he was going for that Counters. flash of magic that Shining Wizard with Shepard had it scouted and another elbow drop. Those reflexes. The elbow oh, stop. Shepard. Another Nelson full line. Nelson face bust. Like and he's back. going up top. He wants him on his feet. Ah, it's not going to be till after the show. I can tell you that right now. Going for that flying kick, and he nails it. That could do it. Hooks the leg. One, two, no. And it's Rivera with the shoulder up. We got one more match after this, which is the main event, then I'll be able to check it in a few, and I'll get back with you, hopefully. In the corner. Oh, was going for that incredible clothesline, but Rivera had it scouted. And now he's trying to get him away from those ropes. Presumably going for a cover. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Rivera going for that knee strike. The game changer. Turned his lights out. One, two. And Shepard gets the shoulder up. This is incredible. Rivera's not done. He's got Shepard on his feet. Low kick. Hits the ropes. Oh, flash of magic. One, two, and Shepard gets the shoulder up again. The two Calebs are waging war here on Slugfest. Oh, he's calling for it. He's looking for that, that Claymore. That, oh, another game changer. He faked him out. One, two, three. What a match. But once again, it's Rivera standing tall here on Slugfest. What a dub for Rivera here tonight. Definitely a... Uh, Gaining a lot of momentum here as late. Be a thing to keep your eye on. Congratulations again to the game changer, Caleb Rivera, as we move on to our main event of the evening. We have a fatal four-way false count anywhere non-title match pitting our women's intercontinental and WWA women's champion, Miss T versus Coco versus their opponents Big Nasty Bertha and Rachel Romero ooh this is gonna be a good one in my eyes this is anybody's ball game this has gotta be one of the biggest women's main event in Saturday Slugfest history Romero a former Intercontinental Champion Bertha a former IC Champion and longest reigning WWA Women's Champ in history, a record that is almost about to be broke by Miss T herself. We'll see how she fares at virtual insanity, but right now it's anybody's ball game here on Slugfest. Let's get it. She's in a fighting mood tonight. The following contest is a fatal four-way falls. 
Rachel Romero, uh, Rachel Romero and her fellow, fellow hooligan sisters have a huge night ahead of them in a few short weeks at Virtual Insanity. They could be draped in gold by the end of the night as they will be respectively challenging for the Women's Intercontinental and Tag Team Championships. But tonight, Rachel Romero could make a huge statement and have a coming out party, so to speak, if she can pick up this humongous dub over three of the four pillars of the WWA Women's Division here in this fatal four-way false count anywhere contest. Counting the weeks, the days, the minutes until this match, and she is now ready to compete. Get out of the way, that Mack truck is coming through. It's none other than Big Nasty. Bertha. Ruthless aggression is alive and well, and this superstar is living proof. Ruthless aggression is overrated, Sack. It never happened to being ruthful. How come nobody ever uses that word anymore? focused on the competition. Bertha with nothing but trouble on her mind here tonight. Ready to show out here in the main event of Saturday Flood Fest. Las Vegas, Nevada, the bombshell Coco is here. The current reigning WWA Women's Intercontinental Championship. Capturing that goal back at Heatway over her opponent, Rachel Romero, in that incredible two out of three falls extreme rules match. And now the Orlando is on their feet because they know what time it is. It's the incredible, flexible, Oh, so edible Coco on your Saturday Slugfest screen. She's so delectable, don't you agree? A big win tonight sends a message to all of the top contenders. Last but not least, I ain't been up on the block in a This minute. woman is ready to fight. I've been missing not to walk with a minute. Orlando, Florida, get on, on your like feet. You know what time it is. It's missed. Take. Oh, my God. Boy, he got it glide. Oh the WWA Women's time. Champion two times over and currently time. reigning is here. You already know the drill. The quick stick rubs. Best, the mastermind of the women's division. This is 
Miss T. Miss T has been on quite the road ever since overcoming the odds back at Clash of the Titans, taking down longtime foe Big Nasty Bertha. And what was it? A very incredible Hell in a Cell match. She's been riding that wave of momentum, recapturing the women's championship from Coco, defending it time after time over against the likes of Kiori Toda. The former champion Coco, the Chinese Nightmare Asia, Eddie Air Jaden. But she's got her biggest championship defense coming up at Virtual Insanity. And that title defense could solidify her reign as the greatest reign of all time if she can take down Big Nasty Bertha one more time in an Iron Woman main event. Here we go, here we go. Romero, Bertha, Coco, Miss T. Let's get it. Oh! Yeah, turmoil to be expected in this fatal and the rivals guys. going right after each other. That's Bertha missing that high kick. And that's T answering back. Trying to take her down by the, the oh, back. But Bertha countering out. Grabs her. Ooh, and slams her. Oh, got caught with the DDT. It looks like Bertha's gear has glitched out all over her chest and back area. You hate to see it. Oh, what a brain buster from Coco to Romero. It's like she got scales all over her back. That's kind of creepy. Two knees to the spot. That is just insulting. Coco and Miss T damn near working in tandem as there's a giant knee to the face. T making the cup. Remember, this is only one fall as Romero makes the save. This is where great cardio makes all the difference. Helping you stay alive. Stops to the back, doubling down. Look at T go. And Romero levels Coco in the cut in the corner. Swaps plays. Oh, what a strong arm. Close line. Bertha eating shit the hard way. Giant springboard moonsault. The champ looking good so far. Mounted with punches. Ooh, the strikes. Oh, a nasty stop the and what was a very twisted turn of events this past Thursday? Bertha had to come to the aid of Adriana Starr, who's about to be attacked viciously with a chair by our champ, his teeth. There's a big knee to the face again. Look at Jin go. Coco handles Romero. Oh, there it is. The Hell's Gate. She's got it locked in early. Bertha nowhere to go. T might be getting the early dub. And as quick as this match has started, it could be over. No. Coco makes the save. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. That is crazy. Will it be? She goes for another cover, but it's rope break after rope break. There's a giant knee in the face from, from the IC champion Coco. But not to be outdone. Here comes Romero trying to intervene. He gets met with a kick to the gut. And now Jin's setting up Bertha. Tries to send her off the ropes. And sends her to the floor. Inverted power slam. Inverted power slam. T setting her eyes on the IC champion. And she sends her into the corner the hard way. Now it's T getting a piece of Rachel. And she sends her into the corner. This Ooh, uppercut, Absolute elbow, sends her back in, all oh, right to the turnbuckle, bow, what a combo, it's mean. And now it's T setting her up again. Sizes her up, went for that overhead chop, as Bertha levels Coco with that discus punch. It's Rachel looking for the lawn dart, bow, right into the corner. We call that whiplash. That might do it. One, two. He gets the shoulder up. Coco with the bitch knees, knee strike to the face. Leveling Bertha. Going for the cover. And Rachel breaks it up. This match continues. Oh, Coco hits that springboard moonsault. Taking her down the hard way. It's Bertha with the dragon screw. Putting the champ on her feet. 
gets caught with a kick. Oh, went for another flying knee, but Rachel has got There's a schoolgirl right to a super kick to the face. Wow. T. Oh, my God. Taking no prisoners here on Slugfest as Coco elbows her way out. Look for that overhead chop. T sends her flying to the floor. And here comes Jin to the outside. Vaulting body press. Absolutely nails it. T-top super kick on the outside. There's the cover. The referee racing to the floor. One, two, oh, and Bertha makes the save. Incredible. Rachel with a kick. Here comes T. Grabbing Coco. Go for that Hell's Gate. She's got the submission locked in. Jin's looking for the win. Can Coco hang on? Oh, Rachel makes the save at the last second. That's crazy. She saw that and one Coco's coming. on her feet, you nails the flying forearm. Oh! Fireman's carry slam. Super Coco kick. super kick corkscrew combination. Oh. Right into the cover. One, two. No, but Bertha with the cover. One, two. No! Oh. And Rachel got the shoulder up. Wow. This match is getting crazy. Went for the fly me again, and Rachel moves out the way. Here she comes. Nailing that kill shot to the face, that high knee. One, two, three. She did it. Rachel Romero with the big coming out party victory here tonight on Slugfest. It's not Miss T standing tall. It's not Coco. It's not Big Nasty Bertha. It's the head hooligan in charge herself. Solidifying her place here in the women's division. Congratulations to Rachel Romero. That is crazy. Defeating these three opponents is a real accomplishment for her. Yeah, they made her win as That's big. As possible. Super big. The head hooligan in charge standing tall here tonight on Slugfest. You love to see it. Congratulations to the one and only Rachel Romero. Wow, what a show. Rachel really picked up the dub. Nobody saw that coming at all. What SummerSlam got on deck? Uh -huh. Oh, look at Bundy finally having to defend that title. And he still is the champion. <laughs> My lord, he's about to hold that belt for a year. Woof. All right. I don't know who's in here, but we're going to raid out and call it a night here on the stream. Appreciate y'all for coming through. Shout out to John, who I think was brand new. Let's make sure he was he followed, though. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, I think he followed. Sweet. He sure did. Ah, thanks for following, John. Appreciate you. Uh, we got a raid out to somebody. I'm the only one in here anyway, I believe. Well, I got one person with me, whoever you may be. Oh, let's see what's happening with Minnie. She's trying to get this dub again. <laughs> All right, we're going to raid out to Minnie, call it a night, and uh, that'll do it for Slugfest in about 80 seconds. So let's see what's going on in the news. Because we are officially in September, baby. That means we're three weeks away from virtual insanity. Let's go to that calendar. Yep, three weeks right there. So three more episodes, three more weeks of TV. We'll do that pay-per-view. Then we should be switching to 23. I might fuck around and do another episode tonight if I'm feeling up to it. You never know. But in the news, look at that. They're rivals, as they should be. They're big rivals. Okay. All right, bet. I don't know what we're going to do about Cam and Bundy, because Bundy keeps putting him down. But, you know, Bundy's got that big triple threat coming up, so it is what it is. But you, we're, we're going to wrap it up. I'm a little tired. I want to do some creating before I go to bed. 
and get some ice cream. Watch Power. That's that's what it is. What up, Brendan? Hope you liked the show. I don't know how long you've been here, but I hope you liked it. And uh, I'll catch you all later. I might even do a little showcase stream of 23 just to show y'all some stuff. Won't even do no matches, but yeah. But catch y'all later next week. Peace.